I had an issue um, that I haven't ever talked about before, but it was back in um, 19, probably right before I, I got into the bookmaking business. I must have been a junior in high school. I was 17 years old. And I was driving, and my I had a Trans Am back then, a 1979 Trans Am that I still love to this day. I wish I had it. <laughs> um, I'm with my girlfriend. I, we kind of get like run off the road pretty much by a guy in front of me. So at 17, of course, uh, you know I'm I'm full of uh, you know just everything, <laughs> um, <laughs> piss and vinegar mostly. But <laughs> yeah, what will what happened was um, I chased the guy down. Uh, we got a high speed chase. He ends up running off the road. I run to his car, I open the door. I'm like, what the, you know, what were you doing, man? You know, what are you thinking? I hit him a few times. It ended up being a guy. Um, and I won't see his last name, but his father was a political um, reporter for lo the local NBC station which would be channel five in Chicago. Um, and he was a political, political, a well-respected political reporter. Um, a few days later, I got arrested for battery. Um, and there was, you know, it, it wasn't good. My girlfriend did get a cut in the head because I had to slam on the brakes um, because this guy cut us off. But that said, it was a very um, difficult time. My father came home. And the one thing that he was pissed off about after I got ar arrested was that, yeah, the judge wants $10,000 right <laughs> off the bat. First thing he tells me, I mean, these people were so corrupt in that city and I won't even mention the judge's name for his family's benefit, but they were all, pff, well, let's face it. Um, I don't know if it's gotten any better. I live in Florida now from what I hear it hasn't, but the corruption was just amazing. So they were definitely on anyone's payroll, certain judges. Oh, yeah, all the judges. So, so they would have, like, the lawyers, like your father, like they would have the ones that they wouldn't know that, they, hey, we can do this back backroom deal with this judge and this lawyer and anybody that he represents. We'll work out a deal and we'll, we'll lessen the charges kind of thing. Absolutely. I got, I got it lowered from, you know, battery and felony battery whatever the, i can't remember the exact charges but battery was one of them and for the 10 grand i got six months um supervision not even probation nothing um <laughs> no felonies you know my father was really big on you know never get a felony and the, we'll get into it later but the business that i was in you know carried a felony charge if you were arrested doing it and so to this day um I've never been, uh, I've never been convicted of a felony. We'll just put it that way. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, <laughs> you had the the right judges on the payroll, I suppose. Up in Chicago, yeah. Yeah, I would imagine if that's that's how it was. I'm sure as you got more involved with the outfit, it became more accessible. Would you say? Yeah. Corruption on judges, cops, and oh yeah, stuff like that. The oh. 80s and 90s, I moved down to Florida in 95, but from 81 to 95, um, from what I saw, was just pure corruption. Alderman, um, I was at, 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 at events. Um, one gentleman, Pat Marcy, um, he was the political fixer. I dated his niece for a couple years, and got a chance to meet Pat Marcy. Um, it, he was a very respected man, a made member of the Chicago outfit. And his basic duties were to arrange everything that the mob asked for. It's not, you know, now the city would ask the mob for favors, but the mob or the outfit would basically tell the city, city what they need to do. And Pat mm -hmm. Marcy, um, I believe he died during his trial, but eventually it caught up to him. It caught up to a lot of these guys when they were in their 80s. Because most of the old timers, I mean, they were really big on driving used cars. You know, yeah, they wore suits, but everybody did back then. Um, but keeping a low profile, something I learned in life. What I learned is, you know, not from the younger guys, but from all the older guys. 
Yeah, they but they definitely probably inst- wanted to instill that in a lot of guys instead of trying to be flashy and you know that's going to cause attention and stuff like that. I think I definitely would say with the Chicago outfit, from what I've researched, they were a lot less or they were more quiet and less flashy than obviously like the New York families and you know John Gotti kind of deal, but. So I'm. I don't know if when once you started getting deeply involved and stuff. I mean, how how were you? Did you keep a low profile or were you? Hey, thanks for watching this clip. This clip came from one of my interviews I did in the past. Please hit subscribe if you want to get more clips like this. Also, if you want to watch the full interview, I'll put a link in the description. Or you can hit the button on the screen to watch the full interview.